Here we are with another declutter and organization video because I've let my life and house go for the last four years. But I am determined on living with less and not having unused or expired trash all over my house. So I'm focusing the next several hours of my life on decluttering then organizing my bathroom. I'm going to continue using the KonMai method because it's worked pretty well for me thus far in my last two decluttering videos. And if you're new to my channel, the KonMai method is similar to the KonMari method, just lazier. It does follow the bones of the KonMari method, so we start off with decluttering by category, hence why my first two decluttering videos were focused on my closet and clothes and my kids' closet and clothes, but now I have no more clothes to declutter, so we're moving through the categories. The next category, according to the KonMari method, is books, but like, I don't really read. I mostly listen to podcasts or watch Netflix. <laughs> so I'm not really much of an intellectual. My kids have books, but I want them to read. So I'm making them keep all their books. Next category is paper, but I'm not going to declutter all my bills and bank statements on YouTube. I, I gotta actually work through those on a personal, not on the internet type of way. So the next category is where we are now, and that is kimono or just miscellaneous items, which is a very good way to describe what's going on in my bathroom. There's a lot of just like kimono miscellaneous sh everywhere. Lately I've been calling my tub trash tub because it's turned basically into a tub of trash. In my defense we did just get new carpeting so we had to move a lot of stuff off of the floor and the easiest place to put it was to just shove it into the bathtub but we replaced the carpet quite a while ago so it's about time I have an actual bathtub again. But I feel like I'm still talking and I'm talking a lot because I'm just trying to delay the inevitable which is getting everything into one place so that I can work through the decluttering and discarding process. So without further ado, let's, oh, let's get everything onto this bed. I don't want my nice white sheets getting all dirty from all the makeup and stuff that's going to be on this bed. So I'm just gonna put down this picnic blanket that I usually keep in my car. Okay, slight change of plans on how I'm going to do this. I'm actually not going to bring my makeup out here to declutter because this massive pile on the bed, I don't know if you can really tell how much it is. All this crap already over here was just what was in the bathtub. And all of it pretty much doesn't belong in the bathroom. It's part of the bathroom declutter because it was all literally in the bathtub. But anything that I do wanna keep, I need to have it go into a basket that is designated to a specific room so that all the items that are supposed to go into other rooms of the house can find its appropriate home. So first we have this quilt which goes in the guest room. My husband practices yoga five for seven days a week. He does it a lot, but he bought like these little bolsters that are actually really nice. You kind of kneel on them like this. So instead of watching TV normally, you watch TV. <laughs> this looks really weird on camera, <laughs> but you watch TV sitting on the bolster with your knees out on the side and you automatically have really good posture, which this, this says something for me because I'm normally like a little hunchback. And if I use this when I watch TV, it forces you to have a, a nice straight back. But anyways, this is my husband's that I use sometimes. Quickly categorizing all this into five different baskets for other rooms, because literally nothing in here belonged in the bathroom. If you are expecting a baby or you recently had a baby, I recommend getting one of these. They're less than $20 on Amazon, but they're really good for newborn photo shoots or just baby photo shoots, because it's just a nice soft background backdrop for it. And yeah, less than $20 for this faux fur rug. I'm putting all the shoes in here because I'm just gonna put it in the shoe area at the front of our house. These are some of my favorite boots from Target. I think they're only like 30 or $35 and they're so comfortable. I wore them all last winter and I'm going to wear them until they basically fall apart. 
have them in black too, but I will have them linked below along with everything else that I mention in a positive light. I took care of all the tub trash, which none of it belonged in the bathroom to begin with. So I felt like it was important to get that all figured out first. Now we have truly bathroom items to declutter then organize. So I'm gonna put all those on this bed now and get that process started. Am I that much of a train wreck or that I need this much toiletries to just look presentable each day? I'd like to think not, who knows, but I feel like I can get rid of a lot of this stuff. We are at the stage in the KonMari method where we start veering to the KonMai method in this video. And that is where you are supposed to pick up an item and decide whether or not it sparks joy. And if it sparks joy, you keep it. And if not, you thank it and you discard it, donate it, whatever. In the KonMai method, I pick up an item and essentially if I've not used it in the last year, I discard it. And if I've used it in the last year, then maybe there's a chance that I'll use it in the next year. But for makeup, it is a little bit different because makeup does expire. And I don't really wanna be, I'll, I'll go a little bit past the expiration date, but if it's been like expired over a year, I probably need to get rid of it. So I just set up a discard bin and a keep bin so that I can start going through this. And I probably should have done my research prior to this video, but I'm gonna ask y'all, please put it in the comments below if you know. But on the makeup, hair products, anything I get rid of, of, a vast majority of it is plastic and it still has a whole bunch of product in it. A lot of the times I'm already foreshadowing this. Is there any way I can recycle it or does it all just have to go to the trash because it's full of product? In a lot of the cases, I'm thinking it's gonna be expired product that I can't use through if I'm discarding it. So comment below, what is the best way to discard cosmetics and toiletries and stuff like that? I would love it if there was a more eco-friendly way to do it than just putting it in the trash bin. Fingers crossed, hopefully. But this one, discard. Apple cider vinegar, I should just put this one in my kitchen. I shave my face with these. They are amazing. It's called dermaplaning, but it just helps exfoliate your skin. Definitely gotta keep those. Gotta keep up my, keep up my smooth, smooth skin regime. Schick sells them too, but I like the tinkle versions better, but I'll still use those up. These are all expired. I have been using and loving, absolutely loving, these Dashing Diva nails. I have so, I bought so many. I redo them every two weeks. They're not press on nails. They're like press on gel stickers that you put onto your nails. And it looks like nail polish, but they have so many different fun colors and designs. They stay on for two weeks. They don't chip. They don't ruin your nails as long as you properly remove them with oil. They actually keep my real nails healthy that usually just break off because, I don't know, maybe I have malnutrition. No idea, but I have the weakest, most brittle nails. So normally my nails break off and I can never grow them out. But since I've been using these Dashing Diva nails, they have actually made it so that I can grow nails and that has been the most appreciated thing so I'm keeping all of these this cover FX I use it in the color light but this cover FX setting powder for your under eyes is amazing it works so well so well that I got a backup for when I eventually used up my main one but the thing is is it lasts so incredibly long that I, this backup one has just been sitting and waiting for me and this like still has over half the product in it. It lasts forever. So even though it's expensive, it has a long shelf life of 24 months. So I feel like I'm still good to keep it. As long as I'm doing this, I'm gonna collect all my brushes in a pile over here. And once I'm done with all of this, I'm gonna wash all my brushes. Oh my gosh, I have another one of these Cover FX I have like 10 years worth of this Cover FX powder, like just having three, but it works amazing. So I'm not gonna get rid of any of them. Actually, is there one I haven't opened yet? 
This one I've never opened. It's not in like, it doesn't have the outside packaging, but it still has the sticker on it and everything. I've literally never opened it. So I'm actually going to start a giveaway pile to put some items that I just have an excessive amount of, but it's still amazing product that I recommend. And I just have too much of it. I can't use it. So I'm gonna start a giveaway pile and at the end of the video, I'll show you what's in the giveaway and one of you will win it. But I'll have the entry details at the end. So my giveaway pile is right there. I'm gonna throw some of these Dashing Diva nails in there too because I, I bought a little bit too much of these when I went shopping for them. Moving on to some hair stuff, because I got a lot of hair stuff in this pile. Kristen S. is the hair product brand that I absolutely love. It's the shampoo, conditioner, a lot of the styling stuff I use is Kristen S. It's sold at Target, but this air dry sea salt spray, it is trash. I used it once. It basically made my hair like a giant rat's nest mess. So that's going in the discard pile, but Everything else, Kristen S that I have, like this leave-in conditioner, I'm keeping all of it, I'm keeping all of it. If you dye your hair like I do, this purple conditioner I really like with the purple shampoo. I got this stackable tier thing to make my under cabinets a little bit more organized. This is actually somewhat organized in here, but I absolutely love these. I highly recommend these from the brand Threshold at Target. I'll keep this. This is an extra strength all over body wax kit, which I was born very hairy. Thanks mom who has pitch black hair and German dad who's extremely hairy. I'm now just someone with dark hair who's extremely hairy with pale skin. It's great. But anyways, I'm going to keep this body waxing kit because of that. I'm just gonna keep these like this for now because my bin under here is getting pretty full. really, really good deodorant. It's probably the best working natural deodorant I've ever tried. The only thing that's annoying about it is that you can't just use a stick applicator like this. You have to use your finger or the little application stick and rub it under your armpits like lotion or something. But this is the best working natural deodorant I've ever tried. It's by the brand Little Seed Farm. This Myro deodorant is trash. This is how I cover up. I know I've mentioned this in other videos, but if you've not watched my videos before, I have a little bit of postpartum hair loss and I use this to cover it up and I don't think I used it today. Now my finger's like kind of brown, but whatever. The Tati Beauty palette is my absolute number one favorite eyeshadow palette. I use it probably 90% of the time whenever I do any sort of eye look. Whenever you see glitter on my eye in any of the videos, people always ask me what glitter I use. It's usually this pink glitter here, but it is just so, so pretty. I absolutely love the glitters in this palette. So this is 1000% a keep. This I will, I will keep. I should probably get a new brush head, but I bought this when my Clarisonic broke and I didn't want to spend like a hundred some dollars on a brand new Clarisonic and they sold this similar item for a lot less on Amazon. So I got it and it really seems very, very similar to the Clarisonic, almost undetectable the difference. Has different settings, different brush heads you can buy. I'll, I'll link it below, but I'm, I'm keeping this. This I am definitely keeping. I absolutely love this. It's an at-home IPL hair removing device. I was super, 
I was super skeptical when I first bought it as to whether or not it would work. As I stated earlier, I'm very hairy and I have light skin and dark hair. So when hair grows in places it's not traditionally supposed to grow, on for women it's very obvious on me so i got this hair removal device to try to combat my genetics <laughs> and it really works it really works i've used it on my armpits on my legs and it works amazingly i will say though on my legs i i think i might go to an actual professional just because there's a lot of space to work through on my legs and the, it's very small, like compare it to my pinky. It's basically the size of my pinky. So it's easy for me to use on my armpit and cover everything, but it takes forever to do it on your legs. Like if you have small patches to work through, this is totally worth it and it's less than $100. So it's a lot cheaper than going to a professional hair removal person outside of your home. Okay, this is another giveaway item. This was sent to me by a company, this hot pink straightening iron. And I, I really appreciate that they sent it to me. It's from the brand Duval. And I just, I love my straightener so much. And it, it does look almost identical to this straightener. It almost looks like it's the same manufacturer. Both of them are sold on Amazon, but this one's hot pink. But I never used this because I basically already had the same exact one. So I'm going to add this to the giveaway. Little hemorrhoid totables for my pregnant friends out there. These are really nifty postpartum to just keep these little individual ones in your purse. This is my favorite perfume. Oh, it smells so good. By the brand Clean and it's just this skin. Scent. <laughs> like I don't really like the name, but the name or the fragrance, the scent is skin. <laughs> but I like it. It's my favorite. Really my only perfume. My favorite and my only perfume. This little tear thing right here are the main items that I use all the time. So really, other than this right here, I have not, oh, and that. I have nothing that I want to throw away on this. I just have the brushes that I want to clean. And actually some of this stuff I just, I should throw away because it's really freaking old. I have a lot of cases and stuff that is meant to keep things more organized, but really I should just have less. All right, what do I have in here? Ibuprofen. What is this? Xanax. <laughs> Some more of my, a backup of my favorite and only perfume that I use. done with the decluttering process. I gotta wash all this crap. And then let me show you the rest. This is the keep stuff. I know it's a lot, but may maybe as I'm putting stuff away, I'll figure out more stuff to put in the donate bin. And then this is the discard bin. Before I clean up the mess that's here, I'm going to wash all of these brushes with my tea tree oil bar soap. I like to use this tea tree oil bar soap for washing my brushes because it doesn't dry them out and it's naturally antibacterial. Even the mirror is just covered in makeup and makeup dust. Next, I gotta clean out this freaking tub. It is covered in dust and grime. And I'm just gonna have to get on in. <coughs> Probably not the best to like spray an entire area and then walk right into it, but I'm already in here.
everything has been cleaned, the next step of this process is putting everything away. And I still have quite a lot, but I have different drawers and stuff that I can put things in. And so I just wanna be a little bit more thoughtful in how I put everything away rather than just shoving everything in there like I did before. So first, I still have this big makeup case and I'm going to put backups or duplicates of different products that I have in here so that when I run out of a favorite that I have, I know to look in here to see if I've already bought a backup because I often buy backups when I can get a deal or sale on it. This is what I use for makeup storage. I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. It actually is meant to hold like forks, knives, and things like that in the kitchen, but I bought it to store my makeup and I put it in this drawer here. So I'm gonna set this on the floor. I'm going to have one dedicated for hair products because I have a lot of those. I forgot, I washed all of my acrylic containers with a little bottle brush so that they can be all fresh and clean again. I'm going to put hair removal related items down here. So I have the laser hair removal and all my waxing items and then replacement blade, razor blades also in there. So any hair removal thing that I come across through this goes down there. Got one bin down. Now we got this one. A lot of the stuff in this bin are kind of bigger items. So I'm going to get this littler stuff set up over here and then move on to the big stuff and where that belongs. Fits in here. The large items, I'm going to basically put in this empty giant hole right here in an organized fashion. So the large items, I'm just gonna stick over here and then I'll organize them after I have them all set to the side. Everyday face cleanser I've been using, so I'm just gonna keep that up top here. Everyday items that I know go up top, I'm just, I'm just sticking right up there. Okay, so I did discard some more items through that process and now I feel like I got pretty much everything kind of where it needs to go. So now I just need to organize by section. All my spares just go in the back over here. And then really all of this is kind of spare items too. All my, my backup mouthwashes. And then I'm actually gonna put my feminine products that have just been all over the place in here. And I'm back into this top drawer because there were a lot of little items and palettes that needed to be added in. So I'm just kind of figuring out where to house everything and then putting it all in its place neatly. Now I'm organizing all my clean brushes and I'm putting the larger fluffier brushes on the right, the smaller ones on the left, and beauty blenders in the middle. The next organizer is going to hold my skin items, so my deodorants, my lotions, oils, perfumes. Okay, this is another makeup thing I need to figure out because I, I feel like I use what's on here fairly frequently, but uh, it's clearly just a disaster.
Now I'm wiping down the shower. It was hard to do it before because there were so many products sitting on this bench, but now it's going to be more organized. I've taken the three-tier organizer that used to be on my vanity, and it's gonna hold all of our toiletries for the shower now. And now we're to the final reveal. Products used to be everywhere. We couldn't even sit down on our bench. And now we have it all in the three tier organizer. My stuff is on the top and my husband's stuff is on the bottom two layers. What used to be the trash tub is now just a regular old bathtub like it should be. I'm so excited to be able to actually take baths again. I have all of my candles and bath salts, bath bombs over there. My vanity, which used to look like a bomb exploded, now has actual counter space and things organized with a rhyme or reason. I know there's still a lot up top here. These are the things I use every single day. I, I have to have them up top. I also use my brushes a lot and then my deodorants, lotions. Obviously, I'm going to use those daily. So I feel like I need all of this up here. But if you guys have any recommendations on how to make it tight for the things I use daily up top, leave it in the comment section below, please. Then my under cabinet storage is finally organized. Feminine products down below, all my hair care items over there. The other side has my hair removal products, face tools that I like, and then just additional products of items I love that I bought backups of. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to watch one of my other decluttering videos. They should be floating over my face at this point. And to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and go follow me on Instagram at myzimmy. That is where I announce the winners in my stories. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.